What are you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Yofukashi no Uda aka Call of the Night chapter 146. So before I get into this week out in live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, well, hopefully this ain't my, my last call of the night, um, live reaction, because right now it's not looking good for me and the kitty. Who is passed out and looking adorable as hell. Oh, my bud bubba kitties. So, um, last time I covered this manga, we found out that um, it's a very, very small world up in here because uh, on the school trip, we ran into um, one, of, uh, one of Mama's servants, one of Haru's servants and it turns out they had the same goals which i think we kind of knew already but just hearing it from him is very interesting and now he wants to go on a date with nazana yeah who was not happy about that but anyways let's get um to this chapter see what's in store for us this week a way to go back to being human, despite not knowing if such a thing is even possible. Nanakusa Haru and um, Hoshimi Kiku were legitimately trying to figure out, um, figure out how. Here we go. And this chapter is titled The Feeling of Being Alive. What even is a vampire? Why can't they turn uh, humans into vampires? We don't need to talk about this now. We've mulled uh, that over to no end already, and no answer came of it. So Kiku and Haru talked about it. Interesting. But it's possible we could find some sort of clue. I think we should keep discussing this. You keep wasting time on um, uh, pointless topics, Ha-chan. Why not suggest something more tangible? What? Kiku-chan, you're just bullying me now. Uh... What har um harkachan oh wait uh what harkachan why do you want to go back to being human I'm just bored of being an angel's vampire humans know their lives are limited so they work hard um us vampires are all lazy so we basically accomplish nothing it's the feeling of being alive the feeling of being alive. But nobody feels that right even without that feeling we'll um still get older with the passage of time. You're only saying that because you're not human. Haruka-kun, do you think it exists a way to go back to being human? Like hell I know. Dunno. Mm, there are legends about vampires which manage to linger around like the whole weak to cross a shtick. Maybe one of those legends could contain the way to going back to being a human. We've heard them and we tried them. Well, which led to, well, you could tell from the way we're talking. Okay, um, we came up with that ourselves. By the way, um, are they weak to crosses? No, duh, that was just a religious thing, or it didn't work on us at least. <laughs> Garlic? I don't like it, but it's not worth mentioning at all. Silver bullets? Eh, I've never been shot by one. True, uh, transforming into bats? We can't do that. But it would be fun if we could. Mmm, <laughs> uh, uh... Ah, sunlight, what about sunlight? Which is true up in Awari no Seraph, aka Seraph of the End. Sunlight does kill a vampire up, up in that manga. That is a major weakness, but it doesn't turn them into humans. Nah, it just is torture. Ah, uh, yeah, that really sucks. Yeah, oh. Okay, so what I'm saying is that legends of vampires which survive to the modern day are based on real vampires and are spread uh, as rumors by humans, and with the passage of time they become more fiction than fact. Mm, what do you mean? This is what I mean. Let's take the bat transformations. If someone did something like this during night um, in a lightless town back in the day, what? Yeah! The humans would see a vampire disappear into the night and think they turned into a bat and flew away. That wouldn't be, that wouldn't be a weird conclusion. Would it really not be weird? It wouldn't! When humans see things they can't understand, they replace it with things they do to keep it um, in order to make sense of it. That is true. 
Hmm. Interesting theory. So the traits of legend which survived to the modern day is just information that humans warped as they passed it down. Is that what you're saying? Hey, but the thing is, is with myth, myths and legends is that there's always a hint of truth. Yes. Um, uh-huh. Good point. Some vampires might have been weak to crosses, uh, crosses due to their faith. I get it. Well, you know what? It might have been as well as that, um, the stronger the faith, the more powerful the crosses are. And because as time has gone on, people are not as, um, religious as they used to be. So maybe that's why I could believe that. They were having a serious conversation. It was like they were um, studying a movie and arguing over interpretations. They were looking for a convincing answer by looking through uh, reference stories and idle gossip from olden days. These two women looked like real humans to me. Yeah. But why did they want to go back? Harusan said she was bored. Then, like, why did you make me a vampire? I've never once felt that feeling of being alive. I've always wanted to die. I thought I would just die while hanging around without anything good in mind. I found someone I loved for the first time. That that in itself was great. I was happy to be I was able to be happy for just a little bit before I died. That's why I found courage. And yet, why did you make me a vampire that day? Was it only to make me feel less alive than ever before? I just thought you shouldn't die just yet. I couldn't leave you just crying there. Horasan, I, that and, I like the way your face looks. But being in love is a way of being alive. Dude, you felt, you felt that moment of being alive the moment you fell in love with her, my dude. That, that is part of what it means to be alive. What do you mean by that? <laughs> my bad. Well, I'll be on my way. See ya. Kikusan, um, what's wrong? Uh, oh, uh, a while ago, I only asked Harusan that question. Why do you want to be a human? Um, why do you want to be human? Are you bored too? Um, I mean, yeah, but my reasoning is a bit different. To be honest, in my mind, I think I've already figured out the way to uh, go back to being human. Then, uh, I told Harusan already, but she vehemently denied it. Because it was... It's fa uh, falling in love with the human. That smile of hers which moved my heart away from my first love, Harusan. Oh, no. She knew. But... That thought, man. But when you, but I understand though, but when you, because Haru is bored, I understand when you live for a long time, you get bored and, um, you resent life after a while and you start getting really depressed because you see everyone that you, um, have loved, uh, grow old and die. I mean, go see, um, the, the dragon that I've named my kitty after, uh, Zeno in, um, Yona of the Dawn, his mind, he said that his mind broke like at least twice, um, during his time as an immortal. Then there's, um, the vampires and Seraph of the End. They want to die. They've lived for a long time. They want to die. They say their immortality is a curse. They hate being a good, well, I should say the majority of them hate being alive. Um, the immortals in, well, the immortals in Yuki Holder, it's like, a, it's mixed. Some of them hate being alive, and some of them, um, and they think it's a curse, and some of them are fine with it, if I remember correctly. But it just depends. It does. Haru is bored. And the title of this chapter, Finding a Way to Be Alive, um, Haru, when you fall in love, that's when you, falling in love is one way of really becoming alive as a, as a human is falling in love because you really feel that you really like you really feel, it's hard to describe but I can understand why falling in love with the human would make you human because emotion like when you fall in love it just 
it brings out your weaknesses, especially if that makes sense. It makes you, it does make you more human. If, it's hard to describe it. <laughs> if I understand what we're going for here, but in terms of the religious stuff, I, as I said, I understand like if, um, if like back in the olden days when religion was more prevalent and people had stronger faith, why it would work against a vampire because vampires don't have, uh, vampires are not religious and all that shit. And the people that were religious or have held vampires could have been religious and it would have worked both ways. So, but those, that uh, uh, the people that use the crosses now don't have a strong enough faith. So yeah, there's, there's that. But the ones, the bad thing is very interesting though. I wonder what is up with that. If vampires used to be able to turn to bats or nah, I'm very good. But Kiku said Kiku's been alive for a very long time and she says she's never been able to turn into a bat. So maybe that's just a, that's just a, a myth. But um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy and Zinc. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more Call of the Night content, a few ways you could do that. Donate to our cash at PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.